What's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the build for a new trap base design I've been working on. Some of the inspiration for this build did come from Oblivion. So I'll put the link in the description below for that video. And you should check it out after you get done watching this one. Now that we're done with the base build, we can start setting up the trap and all the components that go along with the trap. Now these boxes are what we're going to use to lure players in. So most of the time a trap base looks like a trap. But if you give a player the illusion of easy loot, then the greed will usually get the best of him. Now we need to set up the electricity. First thing you're going to set down is a battery. You could actually use a small battery for this, but I'm using the medium in this case. The other electrical components you're going to need in this case are an electrical branch, a root combiner, a switch is optional. You'll need a splitter, a timer, a door controller, two pressure pads, and a solar panel. Thank you. 
At this point, you can step on the pressure pads to make sure they're opening the double doors. If everything seems to be working correctly, then you can start setting up your shotgun traps. You'll have to fidget around with these till you get the perfect angle that you want. After you put this last shotgun trap down and then fill them all with ammo, it's time to test out the base. Now we'll see what happens if they bypass the first part of the trap. Ooh, no luck that way either. The last way they can get in is if they ladder up, and this is what happens. And that's everything. Feel free to use this base design. Let me know down in the comments how it works out for you. Also, if you find ways to improve this base design, let me know about that as well. And thanks for staying to the end of the video. Until next time, Goodbye.